do before we start is that it takes a lot of stones to surround an area in the middle of the board. You're going to have to play a lot of moves to do that, and you're not going to get very much. Whereas, because of the edges of the board, if you wanted to make moves on the side, uh, you wanted to get land on the side, it wouldn't take so much. And if you wanted it in the corner, it wouldn't take very much at all. So um, a lot of people who play this game feel like these areas are the most important ones. Uh, in any case, let's play, and I'll try to say a little bit about what I think is going on as we go. Okay. Okay. So do whatever you like. Okay, well that's fantastic. So what I'm seeing is that you are, you are not necessarily going to get all of this, but you are laying claim to some land over here. And I could fight with you right now and say, no, no, I don't want you to get that much. But what I've learned by playing Go a lot is that actually it's better, instead of fighting all the time and bickering over a little, little bit, is you got some, I'm going to get some. Okay. okay, and so what you've done is you've invested another move in that same place. Okay, and that allows me to jump out and get another corner of valuable area. And I'll tell you this, if you put another stone in this same place to make it more real, I'll be happy to go be in this area. That's not saying I'm gonna get all three, but I'm going to be getting land faster than you. So that's something to think about. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, we more or less divided the board in half. You're stronger here and weaker here, okay? And so I think what I'm going to do is try to find a way to make my land grow in a way that worries you, or at least makes you have to do something. And so, as an example, I am i don't really want to make this move, even though it maybe makes it that I can get more land, because these are strong here, and you won't need to do anything if I do that. That's just me getting land, and that's all my move does. Whereas if I make this move, then I'm getting land, and I'm preparing to do something like attack your stone in some way. So what I try to look for is moves that help me and affect me. So that's why I chose that one. So that you get to think about what you want to do. Would I be talking to if I were to? If you want to, if you th have anything Please. you want to say, Fair if enough. you have so, a question, or, of course. This is real, like I said. I just, so, um, you're not very strong in either place here, so I don't think I'm going to be losing much by putting another stone around here to see if I can protect this area somewhat. If you okay, me. so that's an example of me making a move and you reacting to my move. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's absolutely best. What I want you to think about, though, is that it was my turn, mm -hmm. and I did something that I felt was good for me, and you reacted, so mm -hmm. it's still my turn. Right. Okay? So that's, um, that's maybe the thing to uh, worry about, about reacting. On the other hand, this is the corner. So, and because you strengthened this corner, you actually weakened this stone a lot. So now I'm getting worried about things like you playing here and mm -hmm. separating me from my friends, or just digging out all the territory that I was hoping to make. So one possibility for me is to react here. And that would help make this stronger and make what I'm trying to do more definite. I always want to think about if that's what I really want to do, though. Because there's other stuff going on. So actually, before I make my move, where's some parts of the board where nobody really has any territory yet, but there is territory that could be made? Well, I would guess right in here. Okay. So now that's a place where you're here and I'm here. Mm -hmm. And so if everything was fair, we'd kind of meet halfway. So I could try to get there before you do, mm -hmm. but again, it doesn't really affect you, so I'm not exactly excited. Where else would be a place where well, there's land up for grabs? So I'm going to step out of the role for a question. Please, so I can ask please. A question. So when a kid is playing, so for example, I would decide 
I don't know if it's the better off of the free I'll go back and do it. So I'm not going to, I don't want to worry about this because from what you've said and what I can see, it doesn't look like I'm going to either win or lose in the center anywhere but the corners. So uh, I, I would be hesitant to be concerned about that until you entered it, and then I might match you there. Okay, maybe it's time to ask you this question. Yeah. Um, when you're playing Go, because the stones don't move, what that means is they, it's, you know, it's, it's very hard for me to talk to him the way I would actually talk to a six-year-old. You, you I hope you realize really, you have been, otherwise I'm insulted. <laughs> well, he's an adult, and so subconsciously I'm Go using ahead. words that I would never use with Go small ahead. children. But um, as you play uh, stones down, stones start forming what we call groups, which are loosely or maybe strongly connected stones that are doing something for you. And it becomes vitally important whether the groups are strong or weak. And right. roughly speaking, you can think about it this way. Strong groups aren't very interesting mm -hmm. because they don't need defending, and it's very hard to attack them. Weak groups drive the entire game because a weak group of yours is a potential disaster. And a weak group of mine is something to exploit. Mm -hmm. So, how many groups do you feel are on this board? Um, well, I don't know the definition. I, I'm aiming, there isn't one. I'm aiming for two. Um, I'd say two. Any two groups total. Total. I'll let you probably plan it. So you're thinking of this as a group. I, I'm thinking of this as a group. I'm thinking of this as a group. Oh, two black groups. Two black groups. Oh, okay, yeah. great. And what about white? I don't know that why, well, you, I, you have stones, but um, you haven't yet decided which ones you're going to try to build into groups. Okay, I, I like what you said. Um, you know, to call this a group might be slightly premature mm -hmm. because uh, they're not exactly, you know, joined. Mm -hmm. um, certainly, to call this whole thing one big group would be a definite um, stretching. Um, so, so, with that in mind, what would you say is my weakest group? Assuming you have, well, it'd be this one. I, I'm with you there, because it's further away from its friends, mm -hmm. and so then the question becomes, is there a way to exploit it? So when I was asking you, where is there territory that could be made? Um, uh, yeah, but, but you're a step ahead of me already. It's a white move. And it's white move. Yeah, so <laughs> among the moves that I'm starting to fear mm -hmm. would be something like this, right. because that builds your territory, and threatens me. So what am I probably going to do? Respond. Which means it's still your move again. And you get to drive, drive, drive. So there's a feeling, and this is something maybe I would say to a 10 or 12 year old, there's a feeling that I have about go that feels like this. Like, push, 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 make everything solid. It kind of reminds me of martial arts like Tai Chi and Aikido, something like, um, I don't know, breathing in a way, like, or something like that. And so I don't want you pushing. So if you're pushing and I respond, and you push again and I respond, and you push again and I respond, I'm going to be backpedaling and you're just going to be making make more and more and more. So what I feel like I've got to do is I've got to keep that from happening. So the moves that I'm considering are something that makes this more one piece, some sort of connecting move, or this, but this one I'm going to reject because although it is a move for you that drives, this doesn't drive, doesn't force you to do anything. So I think I'm going to play this move as a way of building territory. I'm not attacking you, it's true, but I am forestalling some things I'm worried about. So now I'm going to perfectly play the role of an eight-year-old. Great. I probably knew